Hey, it's Big Jeff coming to you on a Sunday, the 18th. It's rainy, it's cold, and uh, we've been trying to get this room all situated. So it's about 153. This way you can see it before you buy it. And if you look down at this camera, you'll see a big shout out to High Five Vector uh, for giving us a dummy load that will work. Four ohm, two ohm, 1.5 and one ohm, uh, which is real cool. And if we check out this camera over here, you can see we have uh, DS18 power supplies ran down to a bunch of lithium. We're gonna, we've been talking about working with this audio pipe APCLE 1500.1. And um, if you go back to this camera here, you'll see we're using SMD, um, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna take you for a little ride here. We do have a clamp on the speaker output, and this is another style, which we're only using through the power wire to get a good amperage and voltage. Um, signal so you technically don't need that but for us to get all our numbers here okay so if i go back to this camera here you see my ugly mug i haven't got a shave or buzz this week it's just been <sighs> whatever could go wrong has been going wrong but i said i'm going to get this video done because hopefully by the time you watch this we're having our audio pipe day guys from audio pipe are coming out to the shop and uh, we're all going to be wearing shirts and we're going to do a special giveaway. So by the time you see this, uh, you will. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put you there. As you can see, we have a radio here. We have a 40 tone um, Hertz track. A uh, big shout out from a Hi-Fi Vector for that. We've already done the unboxing. Now we just kind of want to see the power. And uh, we're gonna, once I start it off in front of this camera, you're gonna be able to see the numbers. And also just as a backup, we are using this SMD AM M1. Now, I noticed that the actual wattage is off here and there by a small amount. And I'm thinking just between time delay or what, they're pretty close. Um, but uh, you can move wires around and actually see things change like you're seeing right now. Uh, so they are very sensitive. Okay, so without further ado, we're gonna first start this at two ohms. Yep, two ohms. I'm gonna play the track. We have the amp uh, tuned where it's just under clipping to get you a real life power. Um, so what I'm gonna do is turn on the dummy load, hit play. Uh, some of y'all don't get to see this behind the scenes with other videos but to show you how it really works and that's what we're going to do so dummy load on <clears throat> start the track and check it out here it's about to start kicking in there you go that's about 850 watts why is that side uh a little bit different. This is reading off of the power wire. This is reading off of the speaker wire, the actual output out of it. This is an AC mode. This is on DC mode. Um, so AC at two ohms, we're getting, I think I saw about, uh, that's at two ohms. So I'm going to go down here. If you're seeing me from over there, they look all green. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and select this down to 1.3 ohm. The reason why I'm doing that is because it's a static uh, load, which would be pretty rough. I'm gonna turn on my SMD again. All right, real time power. And uh, same thing, we're gonna turn on over here. We're gonna turn on the dummy load. We're gonna get this track ready, which is 40 hertz and it's a burst so it's not just a constant so you're getting real life the amp is somewhat warm not really we can actually get this baby out because we've been hitting it with multiple multiple hits there it goes 
a little bit longer of a video, but you're getting to see all the behind the scenes stuff that you normally don't see. They normally just have it up and ready. And you don't even, I know when I was learning how to do this stuff, it was so hard to fully figure it out because nobody wants to really show you what all goes on. So we have this really nice, uh, made by Vivor. It's a nice big screen, as you can see. Um, we're gonna check the heat. So let me get this camera on. You can see it is a little bit hotter than the stuff around it, but it's only really at 78 degrees. Um, we just snapped a shot of it so we could pull it off of here. So you can see it's a little bit warm, but really not um, for the amount of times we keep hitting it. Okay, so we're gonna hit it again now. We set at 1.3 ohms. You all here can see that screen crank up. I'm going to hit the on button, which is timed, and then play. So we're about a thousand watts, and we're getting about the same. So it's pretty close to the SMD here. Um, I'm not sure which camera is on right now. They were really close. Um, so. Uh, that's a good sign. Did the amp heat up? I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, well, it's still about, hottest point is about 80 degrees. I'll show you all right here. Can they see that? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's about the same temperature as me, so that's not bad. Okay, so this amp is rated at... Uh, 1500 so i'm gonna set this down here to one ohm which is what it's rated at and then what i'm gonna do is change this on spl labs which is kind of cool because it goes so fast you're not gonna see it i'm gonna set this to max so our max will stop there okay i'm gonna get my track ready 40 hertz so we have burst now again if you wanted to run 40 hertz sine wave directly, uh, yeah, you'll probably get more power in it, but you, I don't want to hurt the amp. The amp is warm. We've done it a bunch of times, testing between the SMD and also the SPL labs. Really cool though. But anyway, let's get this going again. I'm going to get this turned on. I'm going to play the track and then we're going to flip the camera over here to watch the screen. Okay, we're at one ohm. There we go, 40 hertz, there we go. Okay, so I'm watching over here on the meter, we're gonna steady 1182, we had a peak at 1208. Now, what we're gonna do is, because we still haven't even hit the clipping light, we're gonna just get it right to clip, which I already just damped to be right under. And what I mean just the clip is where the clipping light on the uh, SMD will just click every so often. So let's see where we're at. We went up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this. We'll steal the picture. We're at 87 degrees. So if you're looking there, let me help you all out. Okay, so we're at about 86, 87 degrees. Uh, still pretty warm, uh, still pretty cool. I did snap a shot on here. We'll go ahead and put that in the video for you to see what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so we're gonna get over that 1200 number. So that means we're gonna get this track ready. <clears throat> One ohm start. And away we go. Oh yeah. See the SMD show we got a spike of 17 at, and the clip light will come on. We had it 17. So I wonder why we didn't get this over here. Um, because the SMD meter, maybe I'll show that one next time, was definitely getting us in that 17. Yes, we had a little clip light come on, but it was just on and off. 
Can they see the SMD pretty clear? Okay, so we're gonna run this one more time, 40 hertz. And you're gonna watch that. Let's see if I could just put the mode on. We're gonna go dyno power. We have the load set to one ohm. It is kicked on. Watch the SMD, y'all. Here we go. 1729. 1729. Yep, and that's with a little clippage. You can see it's coming on and off. 1729 is what we got there. Uh, let's check the temperature of this amp. You'll be able to see this. So we are running that at one ohm. That was a static ohm. You can see we went up about 10 degrees. Can they see that? So we went up 97, we're at 87. So the amp has gotten warmer, but definitely nowhere near. Um, and we've hit this thing multiple times, which using a static load is very, very uh, harsh. It's very harsh on it. So, okay. So we were able to get over the 1500 watts. Yes, um, right at clipping which is fine, you're gonna have in your vehicle a little bit of clippage here and there. So this amp here, we've shown uh, even at two ohms was doing a thousand watts, no problem. And um, at one ohm, we were getting it about 1700 watts. So uh, definitely gonna get your money's worth. And just because we've been doing this whole test bench thing, we have hit this thing over and over and over. Uh, and it hasn't popped, it hasn't went into ProTech. Uh, it's been pretty crazy. Now I can see that even our power supplies, that's probably why. Looks like the test, uh-oh, didn't even notice that, y'all. Power supplies kicked off. Voltage dropped down to 12.4, which could be the reason why um, we were having to push it to get it up. I mean... Yeah, your car does over 12 volts, but these things are rated at like 13, 8, 14, which is what we were doing. 13 volts right now. You can see right there, 13 volts. And I'll use this camera here. You can see 13.2, the uh, SPL Labs is reading. So, chargers are on. Lithium batteries are down there. Let's go up a little bit. Let's get to 13.8. I'm going to do one more test because I just want to see at 13.8 where is where it should get its power. So we're going to do one more run. Let it get a little juice, a little reserve time. And um, yeah, we're going to run it at one ohm. Let me get this ready. So like anything else, videos, man, this is totally new. Got to find my way, uh, get my groove. We have a Dayton Audio to get the specs from subs. We built a um, call for the flex test, actually something to put the subs in. Um, so we're going to little by little step it up for you all. Um, once we get it cranking, we'll get a lot of products done. Okay, we got some voltage kicking. Just want to make sure... We don't have a cell issue. Okay, I shut the power supplies off. As you can see, still reading 13.8, so the battery is going. So we're going to do one last run at 1 ohm, 40 hertz, and we're going to see what we get with the power up, okay? So track is ready. If you all are watching me right now, is this camera screwing that one up? There you go. Uh, the amp is about 90 degrees. The amp is about, uh, hold on, I'll take a shot. Yep, 90 degrees. Um, you get a little, little view there. Okay. So amp is about 90 degrees. And then, um, you're locked in over here. You should all be able to see this screen 
No problem. All right, one ohm test on track ready. There we go, 1141. Ooh, voltage went down 11.4. We're gonna pause this. I think we might have situation with uh, either the cells we're using, because that was the batch down there, which I took out last week because it looks like one bad cell, um, which one bad cell causes a disruption, y'all. Let me fix this for you. One bad cell will make it so the power supplies won't be able to charge it properly. So working on that. And then uh, being that we're getting so much exposure with the big Jeff batteries, I guess I'm just gonna put two big Jeff batteries down there to do these tests, which we'll do next week. So I know the video is rough. Uh, we're still getting everything worked out and come up with something different. So just hang out. Uh, they'll get better, I swear. We'll get more smooth with this. Um, it's not just a dyno, and if you noticed on the audio pipe, we went into uh, good depth on unboxing it, um, and that's what we want to do with different products down the road, so that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm Big Jeff. Don't hack me up too bad in the comments. This is really a, a thing, learning and, and progress, and to make this better. I uh, was getting all this put together first, and it's not like you just come over here every day literally coming over here on Sundays or Saturdays to do a little at a time and then move on. And then um, promise it'll get better. But I can tell you off of the AM one, we were getting 1700 watts on the amp. We're gonna do a little more work. Uh, the SPL labs has to be kind of calibrated in and that's what we're gonna do with that. And then I'm gonna look into voltage, possible voltage or amperage issue. All right, I'm Big Jeff signing off. Thank you.